Hey everybody, my name is Michael Nip, and I'm back again and it feels like it's been forever since I recorded a video because in order to get ready for like Christmas vacation slash New Year's vacation, I pre-filmed a bunch of videos for end of the year stuff and then I took a break. I didn't read that much. I didn't really do, I edited one video and made a short podcast for my patrons. But other than that, I took a nice vacation and it was wonderful and I had a lot of great time with my family. I hope that everyone also did. Also, let's not talk about what we were expecting out of 2021. I'd rather let that just happen because we were all excited to get to 2020 and we got way hype and look what happened. So let's say that 2021, we'll just assume it's gonna be okay. And I'd rather be pleasantly surprised than disappointed. So this video is supposed to be my December wrap up and my January TBR, but it's gonna be a little bit different because I read books in between December and now, and I don't know whether to talk about them in my January wrap up or in my December wrap up. The two books I actually finished in December, I made reviews for and those are available now. That's Gone Girl and Sword of Kaigen. Gone Girl evidently was a massive phenomenon and the movie came out and the movie did really well. I didn't know anything about it going into the book and I read that for the booktube Secret Santa. So it wasn't even a book that was necessarily on my radar except for the fact that it was such a big culturally relevant book. And without spoiling anything about that book, I think it's a domestic thriller where it is extremely fun to watch a bunch of horrible people be horrible to each other while they bad, bad things go down. I had more fun with that one than I even thought that I would. So yeah, go check out my Gone Girl review. I'm gonna link that above and down below. Additionally, one of my favorite reads of the entire last year was Sword of Kaigen, which I read in December. It was supposed to be my November Patreon buddy read, but I was a little behind because Thanksgiving just threw everything off. But Sword of Kaigen was an amazing book. I also have a dedicated review for that out now. Sword of Kaigen being the Japanese inspired fantasy that focuses on a family that lives on a island peninsula, some land mass where they're supposed to be the front line of defense of the Kaiganese empire for when bad things come, things happen. The book wrecked my soul and it was one of my favorite reads of the year. Review for that is also gonna be available above and below. The book that I was supposed to buddy read on my Patreon in December was Piranesi, Piranesi, Piranesi. We'll say Piranesi for now. I think that flows off the tongue better. And I don't know how to describe this book. I'm going to try to make a review video for this book, but I'm gonna try to make it spoiler free potentially. It's gonna be a challenge, but sometimes I like making hard videos to make, I don't know. So I'm gonna try to make a video review for Piranesi and I won't say much about it except for that. The other book that I read in between December and January that I have finished already is The Alloy of Law, the first book in Mistborn Era 2. One of my things that I would like to do is finish up the Cosmere sooner than later. That way I can shut the book. Is that a phrase? That way I can shut the book on that? That way I can be done with the Cosmere and read other things and actually finish something for once in my hecked darned life. I loved The Alloy of Law. I never knew that what I needed in my Westerns was magic. That book, I, I didn't know what to expect. I know that some people don't like it and I get it. It's like, if you're looking for fantasy, it's not traditional fantasy, but it was exactly what I needed at the exact right time. It was a short book for once. Good night. I just keep reading nothing but large books. So Alloy of Law being like a 10 hour audiobook that I was able to ingest in a nice vacation-y period of time. It was very different from the epic fantasy I've been reading, but it was still tied into Mistborn. It was so wonderful. I love the characters. I love the story. I love the tone. And even though I have other books that I'm expecting to read this month, I went ahead and put book two or book six or Shadows of Self, whatever you want to call it, on my library holds. And uh, spoiler alert, it came in and I've already started it, even though I probably should be reading other things because I just love Wax and Wayne so very much. I'm gonna be making a review video for that as well. Now, on to the books that I'm actually planning on reading in January of 2021. The first books I was planning to read this year because I've already finished other books. First off, the patron buddy read pick for this month was Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. This is one of like Murphy Napier's favorite books. It's also a book that my friend Christy really likes. A lot of people generally like it. I would like to know more about classics. And this one is kind of like a thriller classic. And that excites me because sometimes I have a hard time getting into classics, but I want to. This seems like a good entry point for me, if that makes any sense. All I know about it is that it's got gothic vibes. It's supposed to be creepy. 
and it's a thriller. Another book that I am planning on reading this month is Jade War, the sequel to Jade City. I very much enjoyed Jade City. There's a review that I made for that book as well. If you don't know anything about those books, it's kind of like the triad with magic and you follow one of the crime families and all of their wonderful traits and all of their flaws are bared out as these families fight for control over drugs and the city and it is a lot of fun. I've heard from many people that Jade War is a lot better than Jade City, so I am looking forward to that. I believe I'm supposed to be buddy reading this with my friend Murphy, but we were also supposed to buddy read it in December and both of us kind of decided to just push it off because we were enjoying reading other things. So I do plan on reading that probably on the first half of this month. Like now probably is when I should start it. The next book I want to talk about is called Ship of Magic, which is Robin Hobb's fourth book. It's the first book in the Live Ship Traders series. And just in case you haven't seen any of my videos before, I fell in love with Robin Hobb last year. The Farseer trilogy blew my mind and I loved it so much. Not only is Robin Hobb's prose amazing, the way that she's able to create complex characters and complex scenarios for these characters to have to fight but also work together is amazing. I've only heard that Live Ship Traders is better than Farseer, which I love Farseer, so really looking forward to this. I think there's like 17 books in the Realm of the Elderlings series, which like makes it bigger than the Cosmere, which is something I did last year. I'm not committing to any massive read of all of that series this year, but what I am saying is I definitely plan on reading it throughout this year. Because I have so many other friends that are also interested in reading Ship of Magic now, I've created some buddy read channels for that on the Discord. The link to the Discord, it's available for everybody, it's free to use, is down below, and I'd love to talk books or anything like that with you there. But yeah, a bunch of us are going to be reading Ship of Magic this month, and I just, I have a feeling it's gonna be a fun time. The next book that I am going to be reading this month is a book called The Winds of Strife. This is a self-published book. I've been hoping to get to more self-published and indie books this year. And so this is something that I really want to make sure that I read. Also, I believe the release date is also this month. So that could be useful if you want to pick up this book right at release. There are so many awesome independent and self-published books that come out that sort of slide under the cracks. And I love popular books, but I would love to do my part in being able to get give some of these books that may be awesome a little bit of a push if I can. Speaking of any published books, I'm hoping to read some A.G. Riddle later this year. I'm not focusing on that in January, but A.G. Riddle is an author that I frequently talk about on this channel, but I want now that the channel's a little bit bigger to be able to shed a spotlight on him because I love the A.G. Riddle books that I've read. And that wraps it up. That's a lot of books for me. Uh, generally, I read about four books a month, so having five or six whatever books, plus I read Pyrenees, I don't know. I don't remember if I mentioned this, but I already started Shadows of Self, which means that I need to read these other books, but Shadows of Self is an audiobook. So I'm telling myself it's different because I only have it on audiobook and these other books are all ebooks. So we'll see how that goes. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this. I just want to reiterate that the break that I had over this last holiday time was amazing. I'm so much more rejuvenated and I want to try to experiment with new content, trying different types of videos. I hope that they work for you guys. What is the book that you are most excited to read in January? Comment that down below. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps out. Out. Also, if you'd like to see more videos from me, including the videos where I talk about all these books I just mentioned, please subscribe to the channel and if you hit the bell, you'll get notifications. If you'd like to help out financially, there's a Patreon link down below as well as a merch store. As I mentioned before, I don't think we should be overly excited going into 2021. Let's approach it cautiously optimistic. Until next time, have a nice day. Real dude all day and tomorrow, but these play haters talking crazy like they jaw broke. Glass half empty, half full, I'll spill ya. Try me a run into a wall outfielder. You know I'm a ball till they turn off the field lights. The fruits of my labor, I enjoy them while they still.